Once upon a time, in a small village nestled between rolling hills and whispering woods, there lived a girl named Clara. Clara was known throughout the village for her extraordinary luck. It seemed that fortune smiled upon her at every turn, and the villagers often remarked on how she must have been born under a lucky star. Clara's luck was the stuff of legend. Whether she was picking apples in the orchard or playing games at the village fair, good fortune always seemed to be on her side. The apples she picked were always the sweetest, and at games of chance, she always won. The villagers called it lucky girl syndrome, a term of endearment and awe for Clara's unending good luck. Despite her luck, Clara was humble and kind-hearted. She shared her winnings with those less fortunate and always lent a helping hand to her neighbors. Her parents, simple farmers, had taught her the value of hard work and the importance of giving back to the community. One day, a mysterious old woman visited the village. She heard of Clara's luck and wanted to see it for herself. The old woman challenged Clara to a game of cards, saying, If you win, I will grant you a wish. But if you lose, your luck will leave you forever. Clara, confident in her luck, accepted the challenge. The villagers gathered around as they played, holding their breath with each turn of the cards. In a surprising twist of fate, Clara lost the game. The old woman cackled with glee and vanished in a puff of smoke, leaving Clara and the villagers in shock. True to the old woman's words, Clara's luck changed overnight. The apples she picked were no longer sweet, and she began to lose at games. The villagers whispered amongst themselves, wondering if the lucky girl syndrome had been nothing but a fleeting dream. Clara, however, did not despair. She remembered her parents' teachings about hard work and perseverance. She continued to help her neighbors and worked even harder in the orchard. She learned that while luck could open doors, it was her effort and determination that truly made a difference. As time passed, Clara's fortunes began to change, not because of luck, but because of her hard work and kindness. She became an expert apple grower, and her orchard produced the finest apples in the region. She also became a skilled card player, not relying on luck, but on strategy and skill. The villagers saw the change in Clara and realized that what they had called lucky girl syndrome was more than just good fortune. It was a combination of luck, hard work, and a kind heart. They learned from Clara that while luck can give you a head start, it's your actions and choices that truly shape your life. Clara's story became a fable passed down through generations. It taught the children of the village that luck might bring fleeting joy, but hard work, kindness, and perseverance bring lasting happiness and fulfillment. And so Clara, once known as the luckiest girl in the village, became a symbol of hope and inspiration. Her legacy lived on, reminding everyone that while we cannot control the luck we are given, we can control how we use it to make our lives and the lives of those around us better. In the end, Clara's luck had returned, not as a mysterious force, but as the natural result of her good deeds and hard work. She lived a long and happy life, surrounded by friends and family, always remembered as the girl who had lucky girl syndrome, but who taught everyone the true meaning of fortune and success. Years later, Clara sat under the apple tree in her orchard, now old and wise. Children from the village would gather around her, eager to hear the stories of her youth. With a twinkle in her eye, Clara would recount her adventures, emphasizing the lessons she had learned. She told them about the day her luck seemed to vanish and how it taught her the value of resilience and self-reliance. The luckiest thing that ever happened to me, Clara would say, was losing that card game. It taught me that I am more than just the luck I carry. I am the hard work I put in, the kindness I show to others, and the courage I muster in the face of adversity. Clara's message resonated with the children. They learned that while they might not always have control over their circumstances, they always had control over their actions and attitudes. They understood that true luck was something that was created through positive actions and a generous spirit. As the years went by, Clara's story became a cornerstone of the village's culture. Parents taught their children about lucky girl syndrome, not as a reliance on chance, but as a belief in their own ability to create good fortune through hard work, kindness, and perseverance. 
Clara's life thus became a timeless fable, one that transcended generations. It taught not only the children of her village, but also those far and wide about the true essence of luck and the power of the human spirit. In a world often obsessed with a notion of luck as a random and uncontrollable force, Clara's story stood as a testament to the enduring power of the human will, the importance of character, and the profound impact of our choices on our destiny. And so, in the gentle breeze that rustled through the apple orchard, in the laughter of the children playing, and in the hearts of all who knew her story, Clara's legacy lived on. A reminder that the greatest luck we have is the ability to shape our own lives.